This is how to go live on Instagram like a pro. I'm gonna cover everything you need to know to create easy, amazing looking Instagram live streams, including some advanced options that will help you level up your live streaming setup. So I'm gonna cover off a few different options for you, starting out first with just using the Instagram Live app on your mobile device. So you wanna start out by opening up the Instagram Live app, and then you can just swipe across to the right, and down the bottom you can select Live. Hey, I'm on screen. This is obviously where we're gonna go live. Or if we back out of this now and we come up the top to the little plus button, and then we go down the bottom to live, we can get to the same place here as well. So to set up your live stream, if we come to this button up here, we can give our live stream a title. Let's just call it test. We can add any brand partners in here too, if we're partnering up with anyone. From there, we'll come down to the next one, which is your audience. And we can choose here who we wanna go live to. So the default here is public, or you've also got the option here to go live as a practice run. So it's not going out to all your followers all of your friends, um, we can actually go live in a practice environment. So that's what I'm gonna select here and then choose set audience. And then if we wanna schedule our live stream out for later, we can hit the little calendar button here and choose when we're going to go live. So we're gonna cancel back out of that one now. Now down the bottom here, this is our go live button. So we wanna go live, this is the button we press. We'll get to that very, very soon. But if we swipe across, you've got access to a few other filters and things if you want to add those to your stream too. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit this go live button here. Now again, we're going live in a private or a test environment here. So this isn't gonna go out to our friends and followers. Now this is what you see when you're live. Now obviously we're in this practice environment up here. It also says we're in the practice environment down here as well. But we do have the ability to invite people individually into this stream as well. So if we wanna do a private stream, then we can do that through this practice mode. Now some ways that you can level up your live streams here instead of just having it as a talking head or presentation like this is you can add in graphics and things if you come up here to the add an image button. And you can see I've got some sample slides here as well. So think of this as a presentation that we were doing. I wanna bring something up on screen. I have that ability here. Now obviously with this sample text that I've just brought up, we wanna make sure that there's no text underneath the graphic here, but I can go ahead and tap that image button again and I can swap these out, choose a different asset. Let's go to sample slide number two. And you can see that we have the ability to create more than just a talk head video here. Let's go choose a different asset, sample slide number three. So you can easily just run a very simple slide presentation this way directly from the Instagram app. But don't worry, for those of you looking for more, there are some much more powerful options coming up really, really soon. So if we tap on that image, we can stop the sharing and go back to full screen meet. If you need to mute your microphone at any time, you've got your little microphone mute button there. If you need to disable your camera and have it audio only, that's what this next button does. This button here will flip the camera around. So right now I'm using the front facing camera. If I switch, then you'll see it is the rear camera with my filming setup here. And then for any filters and effects and things, that is the next button here. So again, we tap on that and then they all show up down the bottom. Now, while you're live, all the chat messages and things are gonna show up down the bottom here and you can interact with them. You can also see here if someone has requested to come and join you as a guest on your live stream. So if you press on this button down here now, this is where you can see all your join requests. So if you wanna add someone in, if they've requested, they will show up here and you can add them onto your stream. If we wanna invite people onto our stream, that is the next button down here as well. We can go ahead and search our Instagram account to invite people on. And the next one across is the Q&A section. So if you've got people that have posted a question, then those can show up in this area to make it easy for you to have the questions stand out instead of filtering through the whole chat. Now, one last quick tip for the Instagram app here. If you want to lock down your exposure, or you want to brighten up a dark area of your shot, then you can just tap on the screen for any dark or light areas and it's going to lock your exposure or the brightness at that point. So this is normally where you would tap on, say, your face, and you get a little circle that appear. It's going to automatically adjust the exposure for you for that area of your shot, and it's gonna leave it there. So if you're moving around now, your exposure isn't gonna go brighter or darker. Or if you do find this too bright or too dark, then you can manually adjust by tapping on different areas on your screen. So you get some control over this stuff, but it is nowhere near as professional as the next two options I've got for you. The next option is to use Instagram's new live producer mode to go live from your desktop using professional live stream streaming software like Ecamm Live, OBS, vMix, Wirecast, any of those tools that are gonna allow you to create an RTMP stream. Now this is a feature that Instagram is currently in the process of rolling out. 
I haven't got access to it yet. So I asked a good friend of mine, Tiffany Lee Biomaster, AKA Coach Glitter, to show us the walkthrough on how you can get this set up and running. So you need to go ahead and log into Instagram on a desktop computer, come down to the plus create button there. And if you've got access to this feature, then you'll see the option for live video. We can again give our live stream a name and we can choose our audience, whether it is a public live stream or whether we're going live in a practice environment. And then you just need to hit next. Next is gonna pop up with your live streaming information that you need to copy and paste into your live streaming application. So you wanna copy that stream URL, go ahead and open up your live streaming software, which in this case, Tiffany is using StreamYard. So over on StreamYard, we're creating a new broadcast. We're going to choose live stream. We're going to add a new destination and we wanna come down the bottom here to custom RTMP. And again, this process is very similar no matter which tool you're using here. And then from there, we just wanna paste in those details that Instagram gave us. So our stream URL, and we wanna come back and copy over our stream key as well. Then for StreamYard, we can name this here as a preset for us to use later. So I was calling it Instagram. Then we wanna hit add RTMP server to save that. Once those details are in, we're gonna go create broadcast and then for StreamYard here, we're gonna go into our broadcast studio. From here, you'd set up your live stream as you normally would, bring in your cameras, your graphics, or anything like that. Get it all set up, ready to go. And when you're ready to go live, you'd hit that go live button in the top corner. So at this point, we've got our app sending our live stream through to Instagram, but we're actually not live on Instagram yet. So you need to go back to the Instagram live producer window where you copied and pasted that information from, and you'll now start to see your live stream preview appear. Then when you're ready to actually go live on Instagram, you wanna hit the go live button up in the top right hand corner on that window and you'll actually be live on Instagram. Once you're live, you'll be able to view comments there in that window and you'll also be able to respond and add comments in there too. But all the live stream controls are actually back over in your live stream platform. So StreamYard, again, in this case. So this is where you would normally switch back to that program, switch cameras, bring on guests, add fancy titles and graphics and animations and all of that stuff. But any interacting and viewing the comments is right now limited to this live producer a window. You can't currently bring these into StreamYard or any of the other programs. Now when it's time to end the live stream, again, you wanna do it from this live producer panel and hit end live video up in the top right corner. Now one thing I wanna point out from this example here is that this is a widescreen live stream that has been pushed to go out as vertical. And at the time of filming this, StreamYard doesn't have any preset templates or anything yet to help you create a portrait live stream. So you can definitely still go live on Instagram in widescreen format, but it's not gonna be full screen and it's gonna be put towards the top of the screen there as you can see in this example. But right now, if you're using other tools like Ecamm Live or like OBS, then you can create a portrait live stream and actually push it through as a portrait video from within those programs. And I'm sure this is something that StreamYard and others will have very, very soon as this rollout continues. Now, if you are interested in seeing a full StreamYard tutorial, we do have one on the channel, which I will link down in the description box below or if you wanna see what our top recommended live streaming apps are, whether you're on Mac, PC, iOS, or Android, I'll have links to those in the description box as well. But if you wanna know my go-to, it's currently Ecamm Live, and I love that it also does the portrait stuff really well too. So that brings us to option number three, which is using this device right here. This is the YOLO Live InStream. This is a portable broadcast solution specifically created to help you go live in portrait, but using professional cameras. Full disclosure, YOLO Live did send this product out to me quite a few months ago. We are under no obligation to create any videos or do anything at all with it. We don't do sponsored videos on our channel. No money has changed hands. I will only mention a product when I think it is worthy of mentioning to you guys. And I think this thing is pretty damn awesome, especially if you're looking to go live on Instagram professionally, given what is in here. And they don't even know that they get a mention in this video. So while in option number two, you can go live using professional broadcast tools, allowing you to connect multiple cameras, allowing you to bring in guests and all of those things. This does it all without the need for a computer. You've got USB and SD card input so you can get your files and videos and everything you want to use in your live streams all over onto this device. For internet access, there is Ethernet, there is Wi-Fi, and there's also a SIM card slot. So you've really got your bases covered. And for audio input, you've got your HDMI ports, or there's also two mic or line in ports, and there's a headphone jack for monitoring it all too. Now, while it does have a built-in touchscreen for you to 
you control everything from this. You can also output the HDMI feed from this to a larger screen as well. But essentially what this thing is, is a large Android device that has the Instagram app, TikTok app, Zoom, Facebook, and even CapCut for editing your videos down afterwards. All of those apps come pre-installed in the latest version of their software. And you just open up the apps and go live as you normally would from your phone. But instead of using a phone's built-in camera, you're able to connect professional cameras or really any camera that has an HDMI feed. Now, what I love about this is you get a lot of the pro level features like video switching, bringing up titles and graphics and animations and things that you would get from running your stream through your desktop, but you get access to all of those on here too. And literally you're just tapping the buttons on screen to switch between and to bring things up while you're live. Now, in terms of the actual live stream itself and interacting with your viewers and responding to comments and seeing it all, it's all in the one place. You don't need to have another window or another tab open with that Instagram live control panel. It's all the same experience it would be if you're just running the app on your phone. So I think this is a great option for someone who is looking to go live using more professional cameras, creating more professional live streams, adding titles and graphics and all of that stuff. But someone looking to go live away from their desktop computer or to go live without the need for professional live streaming software, this is a great option for you that makes it really, really easy. Now, in terms of pricing, you can currently pick up the YOLO Live in-stream for $1,299. So it's definitely not on the cheaper end of things, but given what you're getting access to in this small portable package, it could be the best option for you. And for those of you who don't currently have access to Instagram Live Producer, this will get you around all of that because again, it's essentially thinking that you're just running an Android phone. So those are my top methods to help you go live on Instagram like a pro. Now, if you're interested in leveling up your Instagram Reels, then check out the video linked on screen and I'll see you in the next one.